Hello, my name is Jeremy Ross. I'm with IGC Software. This video is going to cover the Survey HD features that will be released with version 1.3.0. So when you open your customer screen and first launch the application, the first thing that you're gonna see here that's different are all the little dots next to the customer's name. Those are actually sync indicator dots that will tell the salesperson the status of the job and its relationship to QuickMove, if it has or has not been synchronized with QuickMove yet. So when you first download the update, um, by default, Survey is automatically going to assign a green icon to any of the existing customers within your list. The reason for that is Survey um, is assuming that you have synchronized these jobs already with QuickMove and the most up-to-date version of that customer's record is in QuickMove. If it is not, then um, you'll need to go into those records, make the adjustments as necessary, um, and then synchronize them um, at some point or another. So really there's three colors that you're gonna see here as an indicator um, as to whether or not you've synced these records. Um, the first color you see is green, and green means that um, the version or of the record from survey will match whatever you have in QuickMove. You have synchronized that record already. The red is an indicator to the salesperson on the device that an adjustment has been made to the record or the record uh, is a new survey that has come in from QuickMove and hasn't been synchronized yet. So red is an indicator that it hasn't been synchronized. Um, also, if you open up any of these green ones here, and you make an adjustment to that record. For example, if you go into survey and add one piece to a specific room, the sync indicator is going to change from green to red. And the reason why is adjusting the weight obviously um, will have an impact sometimes on pricing. So um, you wanna make sure that, uh, that anytime you go in and make your adjustments, you are synchronizing those back into quick move. And once again, the sync indicator is showing you that the record has been changed and it needs to sync again with QuickMove as a result. The third icon that you're gonna see, and or the third color, I should say, is gonna be a yellow icon. And that's an indicator that the job has changed in some way, it needs to sync with QuickMove, and actually yellow shows that you have gone in and turned the sync to QuickMove toggle over to on, but you have not synchronized yet. Um, so it will remain yellow until you hit the sync button in the upper right here and actually sync with QuickMove. At that point, um, the record will then go from a yellow icon to a green icon after the sync has been completed. Now, within the uh, job for each of these customers, um, you also have a sync indicator in here. Um, for that particular record and you will find that up here at the top. So that's the first major change that has happened um, with this update. Another major change that has happened within the update is the ability to use the document library in a new way. And I think this is a great feature that we have within the application um, and it's gonna allow you to bundle things together. Um, so in previous uh, versions of the application, you have now the ability to save customer records, meaning their table of measurements, their order for service, to a document library on the device. So if you're doing things like capturing signature um, uh, and, and running estimates for customers in the field, um, you can save those. And then what happens, um, survey drops those into this documents field here in the upper left. So if I go into that document field, and maybe I picked a bad one here, let me, open up a different customer record. Let's go into Hughes here. And let's go into the document field. You can see here that within the document field, I have a couple of um, an estimate and a table of measurements. I have a couple of documents in here that I've run for the, that customer. Um, you can see that those documents are time stamped and dated. So it's very important that if you're running these documents electronically, whatever you do, you're always gonna try and save it to the library. And then one of the new features that we have within the software is the ability to bundle these items together and send them out in one email. So it used to be that you would have to do multiple emails, one for the table of measurements, one for the order for service, all that has gone away. Um, you now have the ability to come in here, 
touch on these boxes next to what documents you want to send. It will bundle it. You hit email here in the upper right, and then you can send it to the customer or potentially to yourself. So um, up to you on what you want to do there. You even have the ability to bundle reference documents. So if you've loaded some reference documents on your devices, things like valuation tables, uh, uh, rights and responsibilities booklets, stuff like that that you want to bundle with it, simply go to the reference tab here at the bottom and then um, bundle those by checking the boxes as well. So you can see here that it's loading up um, the customer information in there. There's my PDF that has both documents in it. So let me delete that draft and we'll go back to where we were. Another feature that you're going to see in here um, is how we handle comments. We're handling them fundamentally different both in Survey and in Quick Move. Um, you have the ability to make internal documents versus extra, I'm sorry, internal comments versus external comments um, within, the, uh, within the device. So if I jump into the comments section down here for this customer, you can see here that I can add a new note um, by hitting the plus sign and I can make that note a lead note which is an internal only so it, it does not appear on the reports on the table of measurements on the order for service or I can make a new customer note which does appear on those so you have the ability to separate your your comments out of them being internal comments for you guys to see only or external comments which would be the customer note um, that the customer will see. Okay, so a couple of different note types that you can select in there now. Um, making the notes is very simple um, as it was um, when, uh, when you guys were using it uh, in the older versions. So a third type of note that you're going to see in here, and you can see there's a little reminder here at the bottom, there's a lead note that's internal, a customer note, it says customer facing right here. And then the third type that you're going to see is a survey note, okay? Now the survey notes are general notes about the survey itself, and those can be found under the survey. So if I switch my screen here and jump into survey, up here in the upper left I have a notes button now, and this is where I would go to make those survey notes. So things about the survey uh, that you want to um, note in here, and these are not customer facing. These are internal notes. Um, for, uh, for your eyes only, yours and, and the staff back at the office. Now, Quick Move is going to handle this, um, and I don't want to, this is a, really a survey video, but I want to let you know how Quick Move um, sees these things. Um, anything that comes in um, from a notes perspective when it's synced back into Quick Move, anything that's customer facing, okay, so those customer notes that you make that you want the customer to see, those are automatically in Quick Move going to have a print box checked next to them. So when they go to run any reporting from Quick Move, it'll have that, um, that note on there. However, if you've done um, the lead notes in here, which are internal only, when those synchronize back into Quick Move, those notes do not have that print box checked. So once again, um, we're, we're double checking things as it comes back into Quick Move, making sure that you're not applying notes when they are not warranted on the uh, estimate and or order for service. Okay, So um, that covers the comments section. The other major thing that you're going to see, and you're going to see this all throughout the application, is how we've streamlined things. We've gotten rid of buttons that say save. We've gotten rid of a lot of things um, that just required the end user to touch the screen more times than they really had to. So in here, if I go into a field, um, let's go into move information. I think this is a great example because this, you always had to hit the save button twice. If I want to change my pricing option to binding in here, I don't have to hit save anymore. I can just hit shipment info and go back, touch outside of the screen. You can see now that it has changed over to a binding price option, okay? So all of these fields where the save button used to live um, are all now gone. You don't have to hit save anymore. Just by changing the field itself, it is auto-saving um, as you go. I think another major difference um, that you're going to see is actually within the survey regarding that uh, and the streamlining we've done there. Um, for example, I have, uh, uh, let me add some kitchenette chairs here. Okay, so I have eight kitchenette chairs that I've added. So if I've added too many, it used to be that I'd have to, you know, touch the screen here 
and uh, it opens up this field where you can see the details all right from here. So your add and remove is in here, so the plus minus signs, and they work the same way, um, but now you have access right from this window to cube and weight, and even your comments are in here. Um, I think the most dramatic difference that you'll see uh, in here is with regards to crates. So if I add something like a glass top, which is already in here, um, you can see that right from this window, I have access to all of these fields. Entering in length, width, and height have, have become super simple now. I can touch the screen. I just punch in, you know, the length. I can touch the screen again, punch in the, the width, and I can hit the height, and I can punch in the height very easily. I don't have to hit save. I'm just done, and now it assigns my cubic foot to it. Um, it takes care of all of that for you, and I didn't have to hit save every time, so we've streamlined it there. So be aware of that as you're going through the application that you're gonna, the fields are gonna look a little bit different. They're not gonna be foreign to you, but um, they will definitely look a little bit different um, through the streamlining that we've done. And really the whole, the whole purpose of it was to try and eliminate or cut down the amount of touches that you have to do uh, to the screen. So um, those are the major differences that you'll see with version 1.3.0. Um, and thank you very much.